Good morning guys, welcome back to Ubud, Indonesia on the island of Bali. We just had our breakfast here this morning. They delivered it up to the front of our room with this beautiful view. The roosters have been going crazy here. There's so many more roosters here compared to Changu. It's kind of hilarious. But anyways, on the agenda today, there's a hike that's pretty close nearby, just a little bit farther than when we walked to the temple yesterday. So we want to go do that. There's also like a local monkey sanctuary or something that's really highly rated and also very popular. So I think it'd be fun to go do that as well. But as far as the breakfast goes and the food we've been eating so far, oh, it's just been so good. I love eating healthy guys. And this morning we had some fresh fruit. Uh, Laura ate the watermelon and the mango we had and I ate all the dragon fruit. Last time I had dragon fruit in Southeast Asia, I wasn't a huge fan. And then I tried it again this morning and I was like, whoa, that is so good. I think my taste buds have adjusted a little bit since I eat a lot more fruits and vegetables and whole plant foods these days. And yeah, just having my second coffee now as well. And then we'll see where the day brings us. Made it over to the ridge walk. It actually got way nicer out suddenly, so hopefully the sun stays out, out and we can uh, spend the day exploring. But this looks like it's gonna be pretty dope. All right guys, we made it to the top. We walked farther than we were supposed to because we were kind of confused because we were on like a paved trail the whole time. But yeah, I would definitely recommend going and doing something else. If you're going to look for a hike or something, like there was pavers on the trail all the way up. If you're like someone that's looking for something really tame and not looking for an actual trail, but just some way to get outside, like maybe this isn't that bad because it's so close to the city. But we got to the end and kept going on accident because it was like, it's kind of a little bit of a tourist trap. You walk up this trail that's not that long or hard and then you get to the top where there's like all these cafes and businesses. <laughs> and then the only way down is to walk back, so. I'm not complaining, it was nice, but not exactly what I was looking for. Laura, your input? I liked it though, being out in yeah. the greenery instead of the city. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back at the bottom of the Kapuhan Ridge Trail and like I said not exactly what I was looking for but if you are looking for something close to Ubud there's still beautiful sights up there it's just not very long and it is gonna be quite busy because it is tame and that means a lot of people can come and do it. But uh, yeah, we still enjoyed ourselves. You're a damn liar, man. I did. Yeah, we're gonna head back to the Airbnb and figure out what's next. We just stopped off and had lunch at a raw vegan restaurant called The Seeds of Life and it was so good. Food is just cheaper here in Ubud. It's probably about 25% cheaper here than it is in Shanggu. Kitty, you're hanging around by our door. That is a Tom. We're headed over to the monkey forest. We just laid at our Airbnb probably for a good hour and a half and we booked a couple places for future nights coming up. We got a really cool place for tomorrow night north near the rice terraces for like super cheap. We're excited to check it out. But for now we're walking over to the monkey forest. It's like a 20 minute walk or so. We didn't even have to rent a scooter here at Nubud because the things we've been doing has been close enough so. <laughs> We're officially here. I should probably have the camera strap around my wrist, but we put everything away that the monkeys could possibly grab. It was 80,000 ringgit to get in per piece, and let's explore. Very nice. <laughs> this is really cool so far. 
Uh, we just got in, but the trails are like really nice. Like look how pretty that looks. The thing is like, they say this is a monkey sanctuary, so it's not so much like a zoo, but I'm still a little hesitant. They do get to run around freely as far as I can tell, and I feel like they could leave if they want to, but they're given a bunch of food here, so I think they hang out and they're cool with it. You're not supposed to feed the monkeys anything or touch them or try to take food away from them. You don't feed them anything, so you don't jeopardize their health in any way. So, something to note, we're inside the monkey sanctuary here, but I'm pretty sure right on the other side of this fence is an area you don't need to pay to get into, and there are plenty of monkeys out there, so if you want to avoid spending the 80,000 ringgit a person, there is a trail that people are literally biking through and walking by, and there's a lot of monkeys out there. Uh, the patriarch. This dude clearly runs the show. You only get fat if you're in charge. So she must have a pretty busy job keeping these monkeys at bay. They just come and sit out here. <laughs> Aww. Little buddy. <laughs> That's what he thinks about it. Smoking a cigarette. Mm. Smoking's bad is what he's saying. He tore that cigarette apart. What's going on up there? My boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna get up now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweetie, be careful. <laughs> He's trying to bite the bag open. Is he? Yeah. Did he poop on me, Lara? Did he? <laughs> I got pooped on by him. He bit me too, but it wasn't hard. It was more like a, hey, f you. She's like holding mom close. Okay. Isn't it weird that the car is just driving by? Like with all yeah. the monkeys like crossing the street? Another spot where if you want to see monkeys for free, it goes yeah. right next to the sanctuary. There's just a little fence with a little chain rope. But I think we're gonna be finished up here at the monkey sanctuary. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. It's starting to sprinkle. We're sitting under this like, I don't know, little picnic area. But yeah, that was really fun interactions with the monkeys. I feel kind of bad. Hey, he bit me, but like it was just like a, why, the, why didn't you let me keep sitting on you is how I'm gonna take it. And uh, the poop is a blessing on my back, if I must say so <laughs> myself. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna head back, and once again, I'm freaking hungry. We've been eating like, I feel like all day, 
every day. But uh, the food is good and it's cheap and I'm excited to eat some more. So let's go. So long, right when we think we're gonna leave. Look at all these monkeys coming. We're right in the line of fire. Sweetie, don't panic. Oh, he's coming for the bag. He's biting. Yeah, bag. just stand up. <laughs> we're not in charge around here. It's these guys. We're in their territory. Let's see the bag once. Oh, that's not ripped He on bit you. it pretty good. You hit it, right? Yeah. All right, we out of here. Have a great evening. Bye. So the main entrance is just up over here, right up the street. And then there's this scooter path and walking path right here. So if you ever come here, if you go just down the street, a little down the hill, there is a free path you can go through and there's plenty of monkeys there as well. But it is really cool to go inside. Right, Laura? Found a place to eat on the way back. It's a tattoo slash tattoo place slash vegan restaurant, and it's pretty cheap and it's like vegan Indonesian. Wow, it is super nice up here. <laughs> we just ordered our food, and I've noticed one thing: a lot of waiters or waitresses do here is they'll read the whole order back to you, like nice and slowly. It's pretty cool. You always get what you're looking for. Oh yeah. Ew. Woo. Just got back to the room. It's humid out. So uh, we walked through the Ubud market on the way back and Laura got a scarf for 50,000 ringgit. The lady wanted 150 originally and we were honestly hesitant and she ended up going down to 50 for us and she was very happy and then like thanked us and shook our hands and stuff. It was just a really nice exchange. And uh, yeah, we're back at the room now. I also got some jackfruit from a lady and she gave me two packages for 10 ringgit. Uh, yesterday I think I paid 15 for one. It does seem a little older, but I got to give one of the packages to a like homeless mother with a baby on the street. There's like a bunch of them walking around here. I can't help thinking it's some sort of scam because it's just like carrying the kid and looking like desperate. But maybe it's not. Regardless, I gave her some jackfruit, so a little good deed for the night. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty exhausted from walking around so much today. And I know I don't, I look pretty hot and bothered right now too. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get the fans rolling in here, strip down and hopefully cool off pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, we got a new place set up just north of town tomorrow. It looks like a really beautiful location. Up near the rice terraces, I'm happy or I'm excited to share or show you guys, uh, and we will see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace, Pikeys. You.